Pretend you can't see me hiding down here and just look at that stunning vase. <laughs> this is so normal. Oh my God, I don't know how to open this box. I mean, what even, what is this? Some kind of army camouflage. They sent me some equipment to do a quick, you know, assault course in the garden or something, get in shape for summer. I don't know what's going on. Help, help. Oh no, help. I'm stuck, oh no, help. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a haul. I've got a big mixture of stuff today, lots of makeup, some fragrances, some clothing and even some home goods, some home decor. <laughs> whatever it's called. I am absolutely surrounded by boxes. This may be the biggest haul that I've ever done. So if you're interested to see what I have been purchasing for myself, then let's get started. Okay, so I'm, I'm literally going in no particular order because as usual, over like the last week, I've just been storing all my boxes and all my posters that arrived in my filming room and I've completely forgotten what is in what. I've taken all the labels off so that my address isn't on any of the, the boxes so that I don't accidentally show my address in the video and so I have no idea what is in each box so this is going to be like some kind of mystery tour for myself as well as you guys. So first up this Killian package I ordered directly from Killian's website the return of Love O Fresh. Oh my goodness if you don't know about this fragrance by the way this is the Rihanna perfume. Original Love Don't Be Shy by Killian for a while was believed to be what Rihanna wore as a fragrance. So apparently the story goes, okay, this is the legend of Rihanna's scent. The story goes that a load of content creators influencers went to a Fenty event where Rihanna was in attendance. Everybody there was talking about how incredible Rihanna smells, like how amazing, how stunning. Her scent was filling the room. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone wanted to know what her perfume was. And I think it was Jackie Ina who initially said that she like asked or she contacted the rep and said, what fragrances Rihanna wear? Everybody wants to know. She smells stunning. And the answer she received Received was Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. But then I think it was Nima Tang who said that she then went to go and smell that fragrance and it was not what Rihanna smelled like. She felt like it was, it just wasn't quite how she had experienced the scent when Rihanna was wearing it. And someone in Sephora told her, no, 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 Rihanna wears Love O oh Fresh, which was a limited edition fragrance like a few years ago. Apparently Rihanna had bought like the whole stock of this perfume and so then I wanted to buy it. I wanted to know what it smelled like but it had sold out, it was gone. It was a limited edition and then I noticed it was back in stock so I leapt all over it because I've been desperate to know what this smells like for years. You guys know I like the original Love Don't Be Shy but it is a bit sweet for my personal taste and then I'm obsessed with Can't Stop Loving You. That's my favorite of all of the flankers ever. This bottle, it's matte. I hope you can see that on camera. It's, it's matte frosted glass, absolutely stunning. By the way, I just want you to know, I'm not usually so pretentious that I would use these like cards to smell fragrances, but I have three, I have three in here somewhere. Oh my God. Oh, it's exactly, how I imagined it. It's got that love, don't be shy, the original DNA. It's got that marshmallow, that sweetness, but with some freshness, it's a little bit greener. <sighs> I'm excited to get that on. I also got that, Killian are very good at samples. If you order directly from their site, I got a large roses on ice and then a couple of like the mini little samples. This is black, uh, back to black and sacred wood. Those are the samples I chose. So I will keep you posted on that one. I'm gonna put that back there because I'm afraid it's gonna get knocked over in amongst all these boxes. <laughs> that would not be good. Okay, now this is a PR package from Tatcha. Whenever I see a PR package from Tatcha, I'm beside myself because that is literally a dream come true for me. I don't know about you. I don't know what's in here, but <laughs> envelope with my name on it. So that's pretty exciting. Wait, should I open the envelope? <gasps> Hello, clearly an invitation to the coronation by the looks of it. I'm slightly late, but oh my gosh. Guys, the wax seal is exciting enough, but look at this little card. Wow, 
No way. This says we're celebrating one year of Touch It in the UK. How can that be possible? A year, what is happening? Oh, this is the cutest thing ever. Little origami hearts. Okay, consider my day made. And then we have their dewy skin cream, which I have wanted to try. It's been on my list for a long time. I mean, it literally has the word dewy in it. So <laughs> it's perfect for me. Will you let me in? I did actually, I did actually arm myself with like the most aggressive looking scissors specifically for this reason. We're not messing around here today, okay? We've got a lot of boxes to go through. A little spatula on the top, it's too much. But thank you, Tatcha. What is next? Okay, so this is the fr my favorite fragrance I spoke about in my monthly favorites or my monthly roundup, as we like to call it now, about the commodity like sample fragrance sample set that I received from them in PR. And they asked me which was my favorite fragrance and i said it was milk plus the strongest version of the scent milk and they very kindly sent me <laughs> the full sized bottle which is great because i can sort of you know have a look at the packaging and tell you all my thoughts on that oh, this is such a beautiful fragrance it's so warming and cozy and creamy and lactonic obviously Oh, it's so cozy. It's beautiful. A really beautiful, cozy, creamy fragrance, that one. Absolutely delightful. Okay, so next up, I place an order at Harrods. One, because there was a fragrance that I wanted to pick up, which is based on Demi Rawlings. She's just spending all my money, money for me. You know when you find a fragrance influencer or a fragrance content creator who you just have the same taste in fragrances as it's just a match made in heaven she just i get her she gets me we're like one we're one person we love all the same fragrances pretty much so demi was talking about this new i don't know if it is new but this new to me anyway fragrance from stefan humbert lucas which is the sole jedda mango kiss not to be confused with this regular Sole de Jeda, Mango Kiss, I believe it's a Harrods exclusive. So she was speaking about one, this one in her, in one of her TikToks, I think it was like her fragrance of the day. And oh my God, the bottle, get out. It's insane. This house just has the absolute best packaging ever. I'm so, so excited about this one. But anyway, back to my little story. So I wanted to purchase this perfume and I noticed that Harrods were doing like a big gift, free gift with like a beauty purchase over, I think it was 250 pounds. Oh, oh my gosh, that's heavenly. By the way, I will give you like my full thoughts on all of these fragrances in my monthly roundup. Obviously I'm I'm covered in three different fragrances now and I want to obviously put them on the skin and really get to know the fragrances. So I will give you all of my thoughts. My first impressions on this one, it's, it reminds me, it's, it's a completely different scent to God of Fire, but it's got that same sort of DNA that's like the house's DNA. You can smell it's a Stefan Humbert Lucas fragrance. And yet it's got that much sort of lighter, fresher, but it's still like warm as well. Like, oh, it's got that mango in there as well. Fruity, a bit coconutty, maybe. Delightful. So yes, I saw that they had this free gift and I thought there must be a couple of other items that I would like to pick up from Harrods so that I can qualify for the free gift. First up was this travel atomizer. So I chose one from Penhaligans. It's just so pretty. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while because I am going on holiday relatively soon. And I want to be able to use, like I have lots of minis, but I want to be able to use whatever fragrance I like and take it and I want to have it in my handbag. So I chose this one, gorgeous pink like leather finish almost, very pretty, very weighty. Could also double as like a self-defense tool, fabulous. And then I picked up the Tom Ford bronzer. This is in the shade Terror. I've wanted to try this for a while. Ages ago, I swatched the Tom Ford bronzers in like one of those discount cosmetic company 
shops but they didn't have this shade and the others just seemed like very sparkly and light for me but this one has been recommended to me a few times as like a not super warm bronzer and more neutral it definitely looks a bit more neutral I can't smell anything now I've got too much perfume in my nose but yes definitely a more neutral undertone this packaging is so chic gorgeous oh, that is pretty that looks perfect very natural more neutral not too warm so that was my actual harrods order which qualified me do you see the size of this box for this free gift help help oh no help i'm stuck oh no help oh my goodness i've never seen such a large box in all my life but this let me get my face out of the way is the free bag full of goodies for purchasing beauty over 250 a magazine i'm not interested in that this bag is amazing it looks like it's is it like waterproof it's just like a canvas it's huge really pretty i like it it's not sort of harrods but you know it's got the sort of subtle h detail like i would take that to the beach why not perfect for holiday and then this is what was inside let's take a look jesus i mean this is a good gift we've got moroccan oil treatment we've got a glowing mask we've got the way what is this treatment mask we've got evidence mask another mask mask masks a la mer moisturizer we've got a mini nars blush no doubt it's orgasm is it yes of course it is we've got a little perfume perfect for travel advanced collagen serum barbara stern neck and decolletage cream we've got an olaplex number three really good size of that as well la prairie eye cream oh <gasps> amazing some slip silk scrunchies that's so great we've got an anti-aging face oil another serum oh the vive instant radiance primer that's great because i've been wanting to try that and then a little lip mask as well as a 10 percent off card or voucher for dry bar i mean such a great free gift i would never suggest you just go and buy 250 pounds worth of stuff to get a free gift because they are you know all like sample sizes but i think that's a really great gift if you you know i think my fragrance that i was buying was like 230 and there were a couple of other things that i wanted slash was going to pick up anyway in which case it kind of you know made it worth it for me so yeah that is a great gift with purchase for sure but obviously only if you were going to buy around that amount of stuff anyway okay so next i have this very busted box from selfridges that literally just arrived through the door this very moment and in here i picked up a deeper shade of the westman atelier contour stick i purchased originally the lightest shade and i like it i'm actually wearing it today for my contour but it is quite light for me like i have to like really go to town with that contour stick and it's not the sort of product for the price point that i want to use up in like three weeks so i've picked up the second shade the middle shade biscuit because i love the formula i really really like using it i've been really enjoying how creamy it is and easy to blend out but it's just a hair bit light that looks like it's going to be much better and also i was hoping this was going to be a bit more of a sort of bronzing contour like it's not as anywhere near as cool as the lightest shade which is exactly what i was hoping for but this is like such a beautiful product really easy to blend out really beautiful on the skin perfect sort of shades it's just that the lightest shade is a little too light for me i also picked up finally the refills for the Hermes bronzers are available you guys remember i said i wanted to try shade three because i felt like it might be my perfect match because shade two was too light and then shade four was a little deep so but i but i also didn't want to spend another 80 pound on a third one of those bronzers so i thought i'm going to wait for the refills to be available it was a long wait 
but they are here finally. So they come in this little sort of cardboard box. So I do think you could use this if you didn't want to pay the extra sort of almost 30 pounds for the component. You could absolutely put this in a magnetic container. So this is the shade three Sahara. Definitely looks like it's the best shade for me, absolutely. I do really enjoy this bronzer, I think it's gorgeous. So I'm happy now I have my, what I think will be the best shade for my skin tone. Okay, moving on, in here we have a new, I think it's, a, I think jacket is the best word to describe what's in here. This is from Holland Cooper. By the way, I was like today years old when I realized it wasn't Holland and Cooper, it's just Holland Cooper. Was that just me? But this is a jacket that I have had, I think they call it a Parker, but I'm gonna say jacket because Parker, I don't know that this is what I think of as a Parker. I will insert, I'm not gonna be able to show you the full length of this, but this is like a very light, jacket, you know, long sleeve, but quite thin, but just a bit of some warmth and still quite smart casual for spring and probably autumn, maybe even summer, summer, you know, what it's like around these parts. A uh, little jacket, I felt like I had nothing like this. You know, the other day we were going out um, to just the farm shop and just a sort of play area. And I felt like I needed a jacket, but I didn't want a big puffer it just wasn't it wasn't that kind of day it was a very spring warm cozy day but not so warm that I didn't want any jacket and I just felt like I had nothing that worked for the occasion so I saw this on Holland Cooper's website and the detail I just love Holland Cooper their details are absolutely stunning even like this little hook to hang it up is like gold metal beautiful it's so perfect it's got these little drawstrings so you can tighten the waist and make it a bit more fitted. And it just feels very comfy, very soft, very easy going. Can go over a jumper, but it's just slightly smarter than like a sort of winter, like puffer, you know? Next up, I've got a good old order from ASOS. I have trainers in here because my trainers are just filthy. I really like white trainers, but I do have children. So I have to buy like a new pair frequently because they're just getting wrecked all the time. So I got these a New Balance. These are the 550s, which the kids tell me are like the cool trainers in town these days. So that's just what I went with there. I mean, they certainly are gonna do the job. They also seem a bit easier to clean than the ones I've got at the moment. So <laughs> fingers crossed, I won't have to buy like a brand new pair in a month because yeah, these are just like my everyday slobbing about shoes you know i'm running out of space and i've also like made like a cardboard wall just here i don't know if i'll ever get out of here to be honest and the next thing i got from asos is this linen dress again i'll put a picture up here that shows you what it actually looks like full length because this is such a great staple for the summer months i'm going to take this on holiday for me the one thing is it is linen so it is going to crease like an absolute little monkey it's going to be so creased that i'm going to have to you know for sure steam it hang it by the pool or something uh because it, i'm sure it will crease in the suitcase it's already creased now just in where it's been delivered i don't think i can i don't know why i keep holding it up because you can barely see a thing but this is kind of like a one shot like off the shoulder little number so light so soft and perfect when it's, you know, hotter. I'm envisioning me wearing this on holiday in the evenings and not sweating because it's nice and cool and linen-y and it's letting a little bit of a breeze in. So flattering and perfect for like holidays or just summer when you want to, you know, look a little bit jujji but not boil to death. Next up, I have a little order from Skims, and I say little, I mean little, it's only one item. I was very good, but I've had my eye on these body suits, these brighter body suits from Skims for a while. I just couldn't decide. These are the like highlighter shades. I couldn't decide between the pink, purple, and no, pink, orange, and yellow, I think are the options. <gasps> but she went pink, do you? Th I mean, that is so bright. I love colors like this. This is the, what is it called? Um, crew neck, crew neck bodysuit. It's so bright, bright. I like, I want people to have to put sunglasses on or like look away, shield their eyes when they see me coming. And I think this is gonna do it, okay? I love their bodysuits. They're very comfy, very supportive. 
and just go with everything. That is giving me life. Ooh, next up, this is from Revolve. Just trying to make sure I don't show you my address, but it is actually a free people bodysuit. It's so pretty. This is one of their clean lines bodysuits, and that is my favorite bodysuit ever. The regular clean lines that are sort of more so like the skims material, just that sort of regular stretchy material. These with the like pattern on are much thicker and like more sturdy and more solid, more supportive if you have a larger chest, large chest gang over here. And I saw this color and I was like, if this is not like summer in a bodysuit, I don't know what is. And like I said, the clean lines, bodysuits from Free People are my absolute favorites, but this was only on Revolve for some reason. So that's where I got this one from. Oh, I think it's gorgeous. Oh my God, I don't know how to open this box. I mean, what even, what is this? some kind of army camouflage. They sent me some equipment to do a quick, you know, assault course in the garden or something, get in shape for summer. I don't know what's going on. But the reason for all of the packing and the excess in there was because it's a vase, okay? So this last package is from Cotswold Luxury, which is my absolute favorite place to get like home accessories and stuff. They just have some beautiful pieces. This vase hanging out in the background here, which you can't really see. Let me get out of the way. Focus over there, camera. There, do you see that? Pretend you can't see me hiding down here. And just look at that stunning vase. <laughs> This is so normal. But that is a concrete vase that I ordered. I just love it in the backdrop. I love it that it's not white and you can kind of see it, even though, you know, the background is blurred. Like, so the focus is on me and the background is blurred. You can still see it, but it's still like, it's not shouting, it's not too loud. I just love it. It's so beautiful and it's so heavy. It's a concrete vase and I absolutely loved it. And I wanted it to have a friend. So I bought this one that will match it. It's the same, you know, concrete material same line of vases but it's skinny and a bit like it's just a different shape it's like a little jug which <laughs> I'm obsessed with it's so heavy so beautiful French grey it's called I just love that whole shop full of absolute treasures they also sent me some pampas grass to go in it I originally I originally, I will have to trim this down because at the moment it's like way too tall. But my idea is that I want this to go over there because I'm just not that happy with that side of my backdrop. It's the jewelry box, it's annoying, and the candles. It, it, it all just is blending together too much and I don't like it. So I bought actually like a neutral bouquet to go in that vase on the other side, but it was out of stock. And so they sent me some of their pampas grass instead. So yeah, we're just gonna play around. You'll see them appearing in a backdrop near you or near me <laughs> very soon, we hope. But that is it. That is my haul. You will not believe the state of this place. I want to cry. There is just stuff as far as the eye can see. And yeah, <laughs> I'm not that happy about it, to be honest. But you know who's going to be less happy is my husband because he did the recycling like two days ago and I'm about to present him with 400 new boxes. But you know, it's nice to be busy, okay? You don't wanna fall behind. You don't wanna feel like you're, you know, you're not useful to anyone, do you? So you're welcome is what I'll say to him. But I hope you enjoyed this cheeky little haul and I would love to see you in the next one. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.